the Compassionate Geek Podcast with Don Crawley. Now, here's Don. In survey after survey, one of the most common complaints from customers is having to repeat the same information every time they change to a new person. Can you relate? I'd love to hear from someone telling me why some companies can't get their systems talking to one another to prevent this widespread complaint. I called my insurance company with a simple question, and you know what's coming next, right? Their automated system required me to enter my million digit policy number and date of birth. Then I listened to distorted elevator music while I waited for an agent to come online who then asked for my policy number and date of birth, along with my address and my shoe size and who knows what else. The first agent couldn't answer my question, so I was transferred to another agent. I listened to more scratchy elevator music and it was physically painful. And when the second agent came online, I had to repeat all of the same information again, including the reason for my call. It's good they didn't ask to check my blood pressure at that point. Great customer service means you and your company have a laser-like focus on your customer. You search for ways to simplify your customer's experience. You look for anything you can do to make your customer like you. When your customer service systems require your customer to continuously repeat their information, you're complicating your customer's experience and you're making them dislike you. That can't be good for business, morale, or productivity. Now certainly, there may be security or legal reasons that require companies to re-authenticate customers when they change agents, but requiring such extensive repetition of information is overkill and annoying. You don't need to go into a long explanation. You can just say, to protect your security, I'm required to re-authenticate you for this portion of the call. May I get the last four of your social security number and your birth date, please? We often hear, calls are recorded for quality assurance. Well, I wonder if managers and executives at some companies have ever actually called their own company's customer service line and have gone through the entire experience of entering and re-entering their authentication and being transferred from agent to agent. Just listening to a recorded call doesn't do the trick. You need to check the quality of your systems, not just your people. Try this, start a recorder, then call your company's customer service line and record the entire experience, not just the conversations with the support reps. See how many times you have to re-enter or repeat the same information. See how many times you're transferred. Listen to how your own hold music sounds. Time the entire call from dialing all the way through termination. For more ideas on how to improve customer service and communication, download Don's free ebook, The Five Principles of IT Customer Service Success at www.doncrawley.com slash free dash book. For more information about scheduling Don as a speaker for your next conference or meeting, visit www.doncrawley.com slash info. Our jobs are about helping our end users work more productively, efficiently, and creatively. Now, once again, here's Don. Principle number five of the five principles of IT customer service success is the principle of respect. We must work to treat our customers, whether they're paying customers or a colleague in the next cubicle, with dignity and respect. And when we fail to share information, within legal and security constraints, of course, as we transfer a caller, our customers feel frustrated and disrespected. Wouldn't you? If this was helpful for you, please like it and share it. I'm Don Crawley. What do you think?